In our previous adventure, we journeyed through the enchanting wilderness of Talcat Venudian. We were privileged to witness a spectacular array of avian life, including rare sightings of the elusive forest wagtail, the charming brown-cheeked fulvetas, the mysterious brown fish owl, the nocturnal Sri Lanka frogmouth, and the vibrant thick-billed flowerpecker, among others. Missed our last episode? Fear not. The link to episode 2 is conveniently provided in the description. Be sure to check it out after this video to relive our thrilling escapades in Talcat Venudian. Our journey today takes us deep into the heart of the Tilari Reserve Forest, a sanctuary teeming with diverse bird species and home to the awe-inspiring Tilari Dam. As dawn broke, we savored a traditional breakfast of gavin and chutney, accompanied by the comforting warmth of tea and coffee, fueling ourselves for the day's adventure. A scenic drive of 30 minutes transported us into the verdant embrace of the Tilari Reserve Forest. Surrounded by the melodious symphony of birdsong, the serenity of the flowing river, and the lush greenery, we embarked on a riverside walk, our senses heightened in anticipation of the wonders we were about to discover. Our exploration was rewarded with sightings of a remarkable variety of birds. Among them, the Malabar Whistling Thrush, a resident of the Western Ghats known for its human-like whistling calls at dawn. This large thrush, with its blackish upper body adorned with shiny patches of blue, is a sight to behold. We also spotted the orange-headed thrush, a brightly colored ground-dwelling thrush with a distinctive orange head, breast, and belly. This secretive bird is common in well-wooded areas of the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. Adding to the excitement of the morning was the playful antics of a pair of Indian giant squirrels. These large, multicolored tree squirrels are endemic to forests and woodlands in India. Their vibrant fur, ranging from deep red to purple, cream to beige, and brighter orange to deep brown, is a visual treat. As we reach the picturesque spot by the riverfront, we pause to capture the moment. Framed against the stunning backdrop, our selfies and group pictures were more than mere photos. They were memories of a day spent in harmony with nature, cherishing the beauty of the moment. The persistent calls of the elusive stork-billed kingfishers kept our team on a search mission, though we couldn't see them. Reaching a picturesque spot by the riverfront, we captured stunning selfies and group pictures, cherishing the beauty of the moment. We continued our journey to the impressive Tilari Dam, a crucial structure for water distribution between Maharashtra and Goa. The view from the dam was truly mesmerizing, offering a breathtaking panorama of the surrounding landscape. On our return journey, we stopped to enjoy a delightful roadside treat of locally grown bananas, watermelons, and pineapples. Back at our homestay, we relished a hearty lunch and engaged in a myriad of activities. Our exploration led us to a red-whiskered bulbul, engaged in a lively tussle with a golden-fronted leaf bird over a watering spot. The golden-fronted leaf bird, with its striking colors, was a sight to behold as it held its own against the bulbul. A tickle's blue flycatcher graced us with its presence, allowing us to capture extensive footage for a detailed video segment. The highlight of our afternoon was the blue-throated flycatcher, a common yet enchanting bird. Its vibrant blue throat and agile movements were captivating, and we spent a considerable amount of time observing and filming this charming creature. We also encountered a brown-cheeked fulvetta, capturing extensive footage for our viewers. Afternoon concluded with a delightful encounter with a jumble babbler, a bird commonly found across India. Its amusing interaction with its reflection in the car window provided us with a burst of laughter, ending our day on a light-hearted note. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, we set off on an exhilarating evening trail to Parm Village, nestled 10 kilometers away from our base camp. This journey promised a glimpse into the heart of rural India and the rich tapestry of its natural beauty. Parm Village is home to Kaliyadavachi Van Rai, a sacred grove under the watchful protection of the local deity. We were privileged to witness the tranquil beauty of this Sinhutur district gem. The forest, a captivating sight, is dominated by the towering presence of the Entata Ride, also known as Garabichi Vel, a remarkable liana. We took a closer look at the Entata Ride, a species that adds a unique dimension to the forest ecosystem. Its climbing adaptation enables it to reach sunlight in diverse forest settings. As a large liana, it contributes to the structural diversity of the forest, 
providing a habitat for various organisms. Further research will reveal more about the importance of this fascinating species. As the veil of darkness descended, the forest came alive with the haunting hoots of the majestic brown wood owl. Its watchful eyes gleamed in the moonlight as it flitted from tree to tree, a silent guardian of the night. This rare sighting was undoubtedly the highlight of our evening, a testament to the mysteries that lie within the heart of the wilderness. As the sun began to set, painting the sky in hues of gold, we chanced upon a pair of gray-fronted green pigeons. Their vibrant plumage stood out against the golden backdrop, creating a mesmerizing tableau. The male, in a display of courtship, offered fruits to the female, their dance a beautiful ballet choreographed by nature itself. Our return journey takes us to the extraordinary Palm Channel. Here, a waterway arches over a river, flowing towards the vibrant landscapes of Goa. From our vantage point on the bridge, we're treated to a unique spectacle. We delve into the marvel of this site, stirring a sense of curiosity and wonder. As the day draws to a close, the sky transforms into a canvas painted with hues of gold. The setting sun casts its warm glow over the landscape, illuminating the river, the birds, the cascading waterfalls, and the moon's nascent rise. Amidst this stunning backdrop, we spot white-browed wagtails perched on the river rocks. The close-up shots of these graceful birds, set against the river, offer a captivating view. We arrived at Venoshi Forest Homestay by 8 p.m., freshened up, and enjoyed a well-deserved dinner. The evening concluded with a heartfelt gathering where we expressed our gratitude to Praveen Desai, Abhishek Rain, and all the people who made our visit memorable one. We also recognized team members who travel with Advait World, celebrating their dedication to exploring the natural world. The evening continued with a collaborative effort to compile our bird checklist. Under the guidance of Mr. Ramesh Shanai, we matched our sightings and recordings with birds in our reference books, ensuring error-free checklist. As day three drew to a close, we reflected on the incredible experiences, the diverse bird sightings, the majestic landscapes, and the unique cultural encounters. With a sense of accomplishment and a heart full of memories, we drifted off to sleep, eager for the adventures that awaited us on the next day. Get ready for a thrilling exploration of our fourth day experience which will outlast day at Tilari. Will we encounter even more amazing birds and other experiences? Stay tuned to find out.